Today for the playlist, we're gonna look at some of the best tracks from the most amazing man in the history of music, Mr. James Osterberg himself, or as you may know him, Iggy Pop. The first song I wanna look at is the Stooges track 1969 from their self-titled debut. This is the first track off of the first Stooges album, and it sets the bar pretty damn high, but it still sounds just as good more than four decades after it was first released. It's here where you can really hear them take the sounds of psychedelic and push them into something new, which would become the foundation for the modern punk rock sound. The tone in Ron Ashton's guitar is phenomenal, but this is a bit more restrained a performance from Iggy himself, but it's still absolutely worth hearing. Next up, we're gonna look at the Iggy solo track, I'm Bored. Coming off of New Values, which was his third solo record after the end of the Stooges, this track really falls somewhere between post-punk and new wave, and you really get a good dose of that deadpan humor that Iggy has perfected over the years. The guitars here are fantastic, and you get an almost talking head style angular rhythm, and this stripped down arrangement works perfectly for Iggy's delivery. But that's only the first two thirds of the song. Then guitarist Scott Thurston just rips into the track, and Iggy goes into some more energetic shouts and ranting, and it's uniquely brilliant and definitely worth checking out. The final track was the obvious one, and that's the Stooges classic, Search and Destroy. This track can be easily argued as the greatest album opener in history, and it's stunning to think how far the band had come in just three short years since their debut, as on this track they are into a full-on heavy rock or punk sound. Iggy's vocals are outright stunning, and the music has this urgency and this energy that has never been equaled. Mixes by both David Bowie and Bruce Dickinson are readily available, and while there are slight differences between the two of them, the sheer fury of the track remains intact. And you can really make the case that the vocals here are vintage Iggy Pop, and that, among many reasons, is why this is without question my favorite Stooges track and my favorite track Iggy has ever done. Switching over to albums, let's take a look at Iggy's 1977 solo release, Lust for Life. While this album certainly has a massive amount of hype that's been built around it since its release, the fact of the matter is it lives up to it in every single way. The energy all across this album is superb, highlighted by the legendary title track. There are great grooves and riffs all across Lust for Life, and this record really cements the idea that when Iggy wanted to, he could make any band sound like the most fierce group on the planet. Whether it's The Passenger, Tonight, or the killer title track, Lust for Life is beyond essential listening. The other album we're going to check out is, of course, The Stooges Classic. Classic Funhouse. I don't know how much more I can really say about this album. The fact of the matter is, it's the first entry in my book for a very good reason, as it's without question one of the most amazing rock and roll records ever created. There isn't a second anywhere on Funhouse that's anything less than outstanding, as each track builds the tension and mood far beyond anything else you've ever experienced. From deep, funky grooves to unrestrained garage rock sounds to all of the foundations of the modern punk movement, there's no question that these are 36 of the most important musical minutes ever captured on tape. You can also really hear Iggy coming into his own here as a singer, and he uses his trademark growl and scream more here than ever. And it's clear that he's understood just how to capture his live energy in the studio environment. Simply put, you must own this album. You just have to, so go get it now. So there it is, folks, a few of my favorite songs and albums from the rock and roll iguana himself, the king of rock and roll, Iggy Pop. Be sure to check back here every Sunday for more music recommendations and be here every day for all the music news, reviews, and knowledge you'll ever need. <laughs>